Hey Trampians, welcome to yet another episode of Too Late to Sleep, brought to you this week by Grandfather Clocks. Apparently they're not that big. This is Too Late to Sleep. Alright, we don't have a whole lot to talk about this week. But we still have enough to talk about that we're not doing one of our We Have Nothing to Talk About episodes. I'm banking one, working on one right now. Should be a good one. But we got a little bit too much to talk about to go into the bank quite yet. The biggest news would probably be Samoa Joe winning the number one contenders match at Extreme Rules. Becoming the next challenger to Brock Lesnar. He capped it off by... On the next night on Monday Night Raw, choking the ever-loving shit out of Paul Heyman, which I would imagine half of the WWE roster would love to do. Maybe he was just upset about not getting booked on ECW before it went out of business. Who knows? Uh, on SmackDown, we saw the debut of Lana. Well, she didn't actually wrestle yet, so... It was more like the reintroduction of Lana. Uh, she has wrestled before at WrestleMania, actually. I believe she might even have been victorious, but I can't swear to that without checking it. But, yeah, she's actually wrestled before. Wasn't awful, but she's been doing a lot of training, and now she's going to jump directly into a title match at Money in the Bank. So, that makes sense. Uh, the... Last thing that we have to talk about, which is what is going to take up the rest of this time that I told you we didn't have too much of, is Dominion. Dominion 6.1 in, I'm sorry, Dominion 6.11 in Osaka, Joe Hall. So this is on June 11th, as the date said. Uh, this is probably the second biggest show of the year for New Japan. It has a lot of rematches from the Wrestle Kingdom show uh, January 4th of this year, including the main event that won six stars from Dave Meltzer earlier. One of the best matches I've seen in a while. A lot of people are going to say it's impossible to top. I didn't think it was as good as people say. But that's such a high bar you can miss it and still do really well. So if they do half as well of a match, it's still going to be amazing. We'll get to that. Uh, the pre-show match is going to be David Finley uh, some of these guys are young boys, so I might be wrong on the pronunciations. Uh, Shota Umino and Tomoyuki Oka versus Hirai Kawato, Katsuya Kitamura, and Tetsuhiro Yogi. Uh, so Kitamura is probably the most famous young lion in New Japan right now. Uh, he is the one that has that real wide build. Real dark complexion. Kind of looks like an Asian Bobby Lashley. He is getting a huge push relative to the Young Lions. And considering the only one of these guys that really has any kind of name to them is David Finley. And Finley isn't a huge name. I'd say that uh, Kitamura has a pretty good chance of winning this one for his team. Uh, first actual match on the card is an eight-man tag. That's got uh, Tenzan, uh, Jushin Thunder Liger, Nakanishi, and Kojima versus both Tiger Masks, 4 and W. Uh, w, of course, is widely believed, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, to be uh, Kota Ibushi. Uh, so it's those two, Moka uh, Makabe and Yuji Nagata. This one's hard to call. It might be easier to call for somebody who's a little bit more into New Japan than I am. I'm mostly a Gaijin mark and none of those guys are Gaijin so I'm just gonna take a guess and say the uh, Tiger Masks win it for their team. Uh, next up we have the six-man, never open weight six-man tag team title match. Uh, right now the Los Ignar Ingobernables de Japón uh, have the title that is the team of Bushi, Evil, and Sonata, uh, and it is going to be a gauntlet tag match. 
with Bullet Club, represented by Bad Luck Fale, Hangman Page, and Yujiro Takahashi. Uh, you got the Chaos team of Ishii, Yano, and Yoshihashi. The Suzuki Gun team of Taichi, uh, Kanemaru, and Zack Sabre Jr. And the Taguchi Japan team of Juice Robinson, Ricochet, and Taguchi himself. Uh, unless they're going to go with the clean sweep by Bullet Club, which I don't think they're going to do. I gotta think that uh, Lij has the best chance of, of winning this. They're gonna retain the title. Uh, it's interesting that Suzuki Gun has Tai Chi in there, but not uh, Taka. Taka Michi Noku. Uh, it's weird that they have Tai Chi and not Taka, uh, considering they are an established tag team together. But uh, that's gonna be interesting to see those three: Tai Chi Kanemaru and Zack Saber Jr. Hopefully, they get a little bit of time in the gauntlet. Uh, maybe a couple segments. Maybe they win one to stay and fight a couple teams. But I think in the end it's going to be a retain by uh, LIJ. Uh, the next up we've got the uh, IWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Team title match. Rapongi Vice, the champions, are going up against the Young Bucks. Uh, it's a rematch from uh, January 4th. I gotta think that the Bucks win it. The Bucks are very well loved by uh, New Japan, if not the fans, then at least uh, the higher ups. And anytime they don't have the belts, it's kind of weird. So I think they're going to win them back. Uh, that's going to be real nice for the tour of America that is coming up too. They, considering it's going to be in California and they're so well loved over there, uh, New Japan was papering the Reseda parking lot at a uh, PWG show a while back so if they're trying to get that crossover crowd the Bucks having the belts is a good way to make them happy uh, next up we've got the IWGP Heavyweight Tag Team Championship that's War Machine the Champions uh, versus the Gorillas of Destiny that is Haku's Sons uh, I I could go either way on this. I think War Machine is going to win. I don't think the Gorillas of Destiny have quite as much pull uh, as far as fans go as the Young Bucks. I could see them winning. I could very easily be proven wrong. I'm not at all confident on this, but I got it. Uh, gun in my head, I'm probably going to go with War Machine. Next up, a non title match Cody versus Michael Elgin. Uh, Cody is probably going to get the win. This is going to be his biggest match his biggest name match in New Japan since he's only had a few singles matches over there and Michael Elgin is well loved but I don't think he has quite the momentum he had before his injury and I think Cody's going to come out on top uh, next you've got the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Championship if you have a membership to New Japan World go and watch the finals between Kushida and Zack Sabre Jr that was, and I am not a Kushida fan. I did not want him in the finals. That was a hell of a match. It went on my list of matches that I'm going to be looking at at the end of the year to make my top ten list. It was an amazing match. And as much as I am not a fan of Kushida, he really did a great job of, of winning me over for at least that match. I'm hoping that he proves me wrong and delivers the goods in this rematch with uh, Kamitachi. Uh, Hiromu Takahashi, the champion. Uh, I want Hiromu to win, but I think Kushida, especially because of how badly he was beaten in the original match, I think Kushida is going to get his revenge and come out with the belt on this one. Uh, next up, we've got the Never Openweight uh, Championship. This is the singles one. This is Minoru uh, Suzuki, who is a champion. Uh, rematch against Goto. This is a Lumberjack death match. I have no idea who is supposed to be the Lumberjacks. I have no idea how you do a death match when you're confined to the ring. This one could go either way. The uh, Never Belts don't tend to stay on one champion for very long. Uh, this, I'm not a big Suzuki fan, but this match just has so many question marks. I cannot wait to watch it just to see where they go with it. Uh... I'm going to say Suzuki wins, but with no confidence. Uh, the Intercontinental Championship, uh, Nato is going to defend against Tanahashi. That's another rematch from uh, January 4th. This 
NATO has been abusing that belt so much. I gotta think that they've gotta take the belt off of him or else it's just not going to exist anymore anytime soon. Uh, I love that that's his story that he just doesn't respect the belts. But the whole point of doing that is to get the big pop when you take the belt off of him. Now, LIJ is uh, probably the second most popular stable among Westerners if they're going to do this uh, tour and they want to have somebody that people are going to recognize and really appreciate. I think NATO would probably be a better choice to have the Intercontinental Championship on than Tanahashi. But if that's not their logic going into it, then I got to think Tanahashi takes the belt off. And finally, we have Okada versus Omega 2. Okada is the reigning IWGP Heavyweight Champion. Omega is going for the rematch that he never got after coming up ever so short. January 4th. It was one of the greatest matches of all time. Even if I think other people are overselling it, it's hard to oversell because it was so good. And I cannot wait to see what they do. Omega's been talking about it on social media a lot, saying how he wants to do even better. Uh, some people are joking that it's the search for the seventh star because the first match was one of the rarely assigned six-star Meltzer matches. Uh, whatever the hell they do, barring a major injury that just causes them to throw all their plans out the window, this match is going to be a hell of a match. And I am so hopeful that Omega gets the belt. If he doesn't, I don't expect him to stay in New Japan when his contract is up. I'm not sure when that is. It's probably coming up around the end of the year. But if he doesn't get the belt, i got to think it's because they just don't have the plans for him. This has got to be where they cement him as that main eventer. Uh, they don't put that belt on many people, and I think this is where they've got to say that he is one of them that they trust with that level. Uh, that's about all I got for you today, Trampians. Uh, thank you, as always, for checking out the show. Thank you for listening to me ramble. Uh, I want to hear your opinions, if not down in the comments, and feel free to stick something in the comments. Uh, if not there, then over at Reddit, at the Reddit Country Club. We always have the companion thread to this every Friday night when this show goes up, so does the thread. Check us out there. Drop me a like. Uh, if you drop me a dislike, just let me know what you didn't like. I'll be good. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. I appreciate it. Thank you, everybody. Cheers.